In this video, we will see the search helps in APAP dictionary. So let us see the agenda here. So first we will be covering the overview of search helps and then with a simple example, we will create search helps. So what exactly is search help? So search help is another repository object of AWAP dictionary. So if a user wants to enter a particular value into a field, so he doesn't know what value he has to enter. So he has the functionality of F4 so that a particular list will be displayed in front of him and with the list he, he can select the particular value from the list itself. So there are three types of search helps. One is elementary, the second is collective and then the third one is append search helps. So now let us look at the steps to create search helps. So first obviously he has to go to SE11 since search help functionality is in AWAP dictionary. So suppose he's, uh, we have entered ZSRHSCH1. So he has to click on create button. So search help has to be created and the system will prompt this particular window here. So we have the option to create elementary search help moreover collective search helps. And when we have created this, on the screen pops in where we have to provide short description of the search help that we want to create and moreover we have also to create selection method. So selection method is nothing but the source of this particular search help. So source can be a particular table or a view itself. So in our case we have made a particular table and we are making use of that particular table here in the selection method. So here we have given the table name. And there, there is another field that is dialog type. So we are selecting display values immediately in dialog type. So now next step is the parameter area. So here is the parameter area where the search help values which has to be entered, we have to mention it here from the previous table itself. So in the previous table, there were two fields, customer and name. So based on these two values, we have to show our search help. So we have mentioned it here. Now we have to perform consistency check and activate our search help and after activating it we have to execute it by pressing F8 key. And then we get this particular screen test search help and the name of our search help. So in this case it is ZSRCH1. So here we are getting two fields customer and name based on which we have provided in the parameter area. So here if we put our cursor and press F4 so we will be getting a particular list of um, customer and the name. So here we can see this is the customer name and he, this is the name of the customer itself. So now let us see a simple example on how to create search help in AWAP dictionary. In this session let's see how to create search help using AWAP data dictionary. So let us access the AWAP data dictionary. So here we have to select search help and we have to provide the name let us see search 123 or maybe 1234 this is the search help that we will be creating here and just click on create. So here we are provided with two options that is elementary search help and collective search help. So here we are just creating an elementary search help. So here we have to provide the short description. So let's say we are providing search help itself and here in the data collection we have selection method. So where exactly our data is residing for this particular search help. So we have two options that is to provide a table name or maybe a view itself. So I have already created a table that is Z new table. We are making use of this particular Z new table. So if I just double click on this Z new table. So it is showing me there are two existing fields that is country and country code. So this I have already maintained it. So if I just go to utilities and table content and display it. So we have some particular data here already. So this particular data I will be populating in our search help. So let's go back again. So this is the selection method that we are providing. And in the dialog type we have maintaining our display values immediately. So this we have already maintained. Then we have parameters. So in the parameters we are just mentioning on which particular parameter our search help would be executed. So as we already saw this our field that is country so on the basis of country field our search help would be executed and if I just click on enter here our data element would be all populated so see Z C number so 
here also we can see uh, the field is country and the data element is ZC number so it has populated from that particular table itself and the data element is ZC number then there are some fields or check boxes here like import export L position S position so if I just click on import so this is a checkbox for indicating whether a search help parameter is an import parameter then there is an export so this is also a check field which indicates our search help parameter is a export parameter or an import parameter so we are just checking both and then we have L position and S position so L position its values control the physical position of a particular search help parameter or the field in the particular selection list itself so if you are just entering value 1 the field will appear in the first position in the selection list so let us enter it as 1 and 1 and let us just save it and there, there was one more field here so on this particular basis also we will apply our search help if I just press enter our data element is populated and import and export is checked and the position that is the second it would be coming in the second position so this is also maintained so that's done I will just run a check and see if any error is there so no inconsistency is found so that's good and activate it so now if I just run it we can see our country is coming here and country code is also coming here and there is a two input boxes for the same so here we can see our search help has been implemented so this particular icons are coming here if I just click on this icon here so values are coming from that particular table itself so our data is populated in this particular search help so our search help is working properly so just to explain you the concept of S position and L position I will just rename it to 2 and 2 and here also I will swap it 1 so that's done save check and activate so this time our country code would come first and our country name would come afterwards so country code is coming at the first and the country name is coming in the second position so this was concept of L position and S position so this was a simple example on how to create a search help so we took help from the Z new table that is a custom table that I have already created so I have also provided some data in that so that particular data we are populating in our selection list for our search help so that's it for this video thanks for watching